Good morning. I love that. I looked at YouTube and there's like people waiting for the yoga class. Um, so great, come. We're going to have some fun today. Um, great. Day 20. Amazing. So just bringing your hands to your hips and you roll up here. Down to the side, roll down the hips. Unstructured, um, general joint connection. Just kind of grabs the old tendons and tells me how they are. Just bring your hands to your thighs and then slide down the right side. And then slide down the left side. Slide down the right side, slide down the right side, slide down the right side, and then you're going to swing and scratch the back of your knee on one side, and swing and scratch the back of your knee. So a little bit trickier, you'll feel the belly, the spine, only goes far as your spine feels like is a, a warming up of the spine. Sit down there, bring your feet closer together, roll your shoulders. Circles of the shoulders. Now we're rolling the other way. Circle. Teach your arms wide, bring your palms together, squeeze through your bumps and your hips are moving forward, and then look at the And then bending your elbows, bending your knees. Come all the way down, bring your elbows to your knees and around the back. Feel your spine deeply stretched as you can. And then slowly roll it up, bring your arms wide, squeeze through your bum. Bending your elbows, bring your knees, round through that. Look to your arms, looking up, squeeze them to your body, push down into your feet to reach up into your feet. Bending your elbows, bend your knees, and bring your elbows, knees, round through that. Get all the sound and the thick ones to your mouth. Body tall, reach your arms wide, bring your palms together. Bend the curls, bend your knees all the way down, hands to the floor, forehead to the knee, hands to your shoulders, lift them. Hands to the floor, stretch your right leg long, send back to lunge. Find the length of the back leg. Drop back into a plank pose, step back into a plank pose. Drop your knees to the floor, floor your chest all the way down. Bring your fingers wider than your mouth, tuck your chin in, slowly rising up. Keep your chin tucked in. Lowering down, hands to the floor. Push back into your cat. And then all the way back into your downward dog. Feeling the length, finding the stretch. Drop your knees down, let them touch the floor. Rounding your back as you do so, and then stretch back into your legs. Bending your knees, let your knees tap the floor, rounding your back. Stretch back into your legs. Bend your knees at the top of the floor. Stretch back down. Stretch your right foot up towards the ceiling. And then bend your right knee. And as you bend your right knee, rock your body weight forward a little bit more over your hands and bring your knee to your elbow. And then stretch your right leg up and back behind you. And then bring your right leg a little bit over towards the left. Leg back to center, bend your knee, rock your weight forward, knee to your elbow, and then stretching back with your leg. Then bring your leg a little bit over towards the other leg. One more time. Bend your knee, rock your body weight forward, knee to your elbow, and stretch yourself back. Bring your leg to the left hand side. Bring your foot to the floor, drop both knees down, rounding the back. Rounding your back. Rounding your back. Lift your knees off the floor. Set the right foot. So stretch it back and then set it forward. And then set it forward. Hands to the floor, forehead to the knees. Slowly rolling up. Put your arms wide, hands come together. Bending your elbows, bend your knees all the way down. Hands to the floor, forehead to the knees. And to your shins, lift your chest and look forward. And to the floor, stretch your left leg long. And step it all the way back into a lunge position. Look at the sun salutations because every single one of them you can 
lean into, deepen into a body through the, the whole of your body, through the top of your head, and soles your feet, just tip your fingers. This is like expand every single time. Plank pose, expand the total loop. Drop your knees to the floor, go all the way down. Fingers are wide, rising up. Expand again. Going down. Hands to the floor, push back into your calf. Pull your knees up into a downward dog. Drop your knees down, let them touch. Spread that. Spread that. I think we can tell by the fact that the door is open. That's the door. Relaxing. Stretching back into your downward dog. Knees to the floor. Stretching back into your downward dog. Knees to the floor. Good. So stretching back into your downward dog. Stretch your left foot up and back behind you. Feel that opening to the front of the left eye. And then begin to bend your left knee. Draw your left knee forward to your left elbow. You rock your body weight forward so you're a little bit more like a Stretch your left leg up and back behind you. And then bring your left foot a little bit over towards the right. Bring your leg back to center, bend your knee, rock your body weight forward, knee to your elbow, stretch your leg up and back. And bring your leg a little bit to the lower right. Bend your knee, bring your knee to your elbow, rock your body weight forward, stretch your leg long, bring your leg over towards the right. Drop your foot to the floor. Pause there for a moment. Down then, stretching your leg up and back behind you. Step the left foot forward. Step it forward. Hands to the floor. Forehead to your knee. Put your arms wide. Hands come together. Hands come to rest in front of your chest. Drop your arms wide. Bring your hands together. Bend your elbows, bend your knees, come all the way down, hands to the floor, forehead to knee, hands to your shins, lift your chest to the floor. Hands to the floor, stretch your right leg along behind you, step back into the row, drop your right knee to the floor. From here, round your back so you can't bring your forehead to your knee. And then pull that left elbow back like a bow arrow. Bring your hand to the floor. Round your back and bring your forehead to me. And then pull your left elbow back like a bow Along the walk, another way to go. Now to the floor, I'm going to put my fingertips with the left hand. Round your back, forehead to me. Pause there, we're going to feel the back of your body opening. And as you round deeply into the back spot. Pull your elbow back, pause in there. Elbow to your Ceiling, hands to the side of your chest. You can turn your head if you wish, or keep your head towards the neck. Both hands to the floor, step back into a plank. Drop your knees to the floor, lower all the way down forward. So from here, you're going to, uh, we didn't move before, but we didn't move bent knees. So we're going to practice the bent legs straight. So bring both arms wider than your mat, and your hands in front. Stretch your right leg long, right, right arm long, so it's straight out to the side. And then roll over onto your right side and swing the left foot towards your right hand. So I'm resting on the side of the right leg, my left hand is pushing into the floor, and my right arm is long behind me. And I'm imagining that my toe is going to come to my right hand. Roll over back. Both hands flat to the floor, elbows are high. Stretch the left arm long, swing the right leg, and bend it as you roll. You feel that sense of the right foot coming up towards the left hand. So I'm going to swing. Bend your left elbow, stretch your right. Swing your left foot towards your right hand. And then the other side, touch out the left arm, swing to the right leg. And these movements, the idea behind my yoga is that I'm trying to strengthen the ranges of motion rather than just the extreme angle. It's like, how can I make the whole of this movement connected and strong? Not just the very end of it where you're pushing your foot forward, you're reaching your foot towards your hand. It's like, what is the full range of the passing of my shoulder, and 
một khô sơ all the way to the floor. And then, when your elbows are resting on the floor, and they're spread out to the sides, and they're kind of like in this here, doing this forearm, the elbows are set up, your shoulders, hands, and back of the floor. And then just take your elbows and hands off the floor, and try and lift them as far back behind you as you can. So the elbows are pulled back, your hands are pulled back, and you can keep your elbows and your hands the same way. And then drop your elbows to the floor, and your forehead up there. Right. Lift your elbows, your hands, lift your head. And you feel the maximum squeeze backwards of your elbows. And then straighten your arms. Feel the maximum squeeze backwards of your arms. And then begin to slowly, you're going to rotate your arms. You're going to slowly rotate and bring your fingers to touch as far away from your lower back as you can. So you're trying to be back towards the ceiling. This is really weird thing where you're like, I don't know how to find my other and then slowly come back. Arms straight out wide, bend your elbows. And then stretch your arms straight forward so your arms are either side of your ears and it's towards the ceiling. So bend your elbows so your elbows are straight out from your shoulders, drop your head down. Relax. Down, then lift your head, lift your elbows and your hands. You can feel the back towards the ceilingness of this. Straight through your arms. Go ahead and roll your hands until you bring your fingertips to touch somewhere behind you, as far away from your back as you can. Slowly come back, arms are straight out beside you. Bend your elbows, and then reach your arms forward either side of your ears. Get into your toes, you come like sick woman, sick man. Get really, really long, get your toes a little bit more. Bend your elbows, drop your toes, bring your hands to the floor beside your chest, drop your head down, push into your hands, keep your head low, push back into your cat, and then all the way back into your downward dog, stretching through your downward dog. Step your right foot forward between your hands, bend the left foot at a 45 degree angle. Reach your fingers up towards the center of the leg, and then lean away into that front foot. Put your neck, roll your chest, or Twist your chest more to the left. Up to wide, you're looking down the right arm. Turn your right hand, reach it up towards the center, dropping the left hand down, leaning into it. So every time you're like, if I get bigger, I get brighter, I lean into my toes and my fingertips and stretch from the center out into the periphery. And send the information from the periphery back into the center. Let's bring your elbow to your knee, reach your left arm over. Drop your left hand down to the floor, bring your right hand to your knee, twist your chest towards the right. Drop your left knee to the floor, bring your right hand to the inside of your big toe side of your foot, stretch out to the front leg. And then step forward with the left foot to the outside of the left hand, so your two hands are going to be between your two Sit deeply down into your squat. Bring your elbows to your knees. Sit deeply down into your squat. Bring your hands to your knees. Deeply down into your squat. You can go a little bit deeper with your hands on your knees. And then come all the way up. Stand at the front of your mat. Reach your arms wide. Bring your palms together. Bending your elbows down your knees. All the way down. Hands to the floor. Forehead to your knees. Hands to your chin. Lift. And to the floor, stretch your left leg long and set it all the way back into your left. Drop your left knee to the floor, round your back and draw your forehead to your right knee. Bring your right elbow back like a bone arrow. Feel it in the torso, in the chest. Bring your hands to the floor, draw your forehead to your knee. Feeling from the coccyx all the way to the back of your neck. Lift your feet to your spine. Draw your elbow back. One arm, a long one, the other one. And you're welcome to your arm right here. And then bring your hands to the floor one more time, round your neck, forehead to me, pausing there. 
And then pull your elbow back. Pull up the long board. Pull your elbow hands to the floor. Step back into your plank. Drop your knees to the floor. Lower your belly all the way down. Bring your hands so your palms are flat on the floor. Stretch out through the left arm and bend in the right knee. Swing it towards the left arm. Straighten out to the right leg. Straighten out the right arm. Bend the left leg. Sway it. And then just sway from side to side. The last time we did this, we kept both knees bent as we sway from side to side. You can choose to do that again. I'm not sure if it's easier. I'm not sure. I think it will also be different. It will access different people in different ways. So if you want to look at that option, you can both knees bent in your own home practice. You can. Or you can Let's come back to center. Put both hands down. Wrap up the elbows. Kind of stay where you are. Um, lift both hands off the floor so your elbows are hovering. And then lift the torso a little bit higher. Stretch out to your arms. Lift your arms a little bit higher. Really feel it. Behind your space, and slowly bring your fingers to touch behind the door back, as far back behind you as you can. Begin to use your belly to give you more space. So push your belly down, maybe lift your toes up, lift your torso, feel like your whole body is trying to get you into the space behind your back. Now back. Hands are either side, elbows are either side of your shoulders, stretch your arms forward, go into Superman, Super Bowl mode. Lift your feet a little bit higher, reach your hands a little bit more, reach from your belly into your periphery. Bend your elbows, soften your legs. And then reach your arms behind you. One last effort. Use the whole of your body. Bring your fingers a little bit behind you as far as you can. Arms reach forward, get your long. Your Get on your fingertips, toes, each toe is stretching, each finger is stretching. Bend your elbows, put your hands into the floor, drop your head down, back your head low, push back into the couch, push all the way back into your belly. Have a little wiggle. Stretch your left foot up towards the ceiling, step it forward. Turn your right foot at a 45 degree angle, rising up, reaching up. Lean and put from your fingertips into your toes. Put your chin in, turn towards the right, and your head towards the left. So you reach the left hand up, right hand down. Lean and put. The elbow all the way down, reach your right arm over your ear. Lean and put. Bring your right hand all the way down to the floor. Left hand to your knee, twisting. Drop your back knee to the floor. Right here. Bring both hands to the floor. So that you go there. As you rock forward, you're going to step your right foot to the outside of your right hand and sit deeply down into your squat. You're as low as you can go. Bring your elbows to your knees. Bring your hands to your knees. Lift a little bit up. And then deepen the way down. Lift a little bit up. And way down. We'll bring your hands to the floor, stretch through your legs. Walk in there, walk your feet a little bit closer to each other. Just rest and forward, forward, bend your elbows, drop your elbows down. Bend your knees, sit your bum down, knock the floor, whatever you do. 
How do you get your glove on for? Nice. And then just come to lock the arm for Bring all the way down. Bring your arms out into a cross. Feet your hip distance apart. Push down into the floor with your feet. Lift your hips high. Feel the length through the front of the pelvis, the front of the legs. Rolling all the way down the line of your feet. Again, roll the way down. Pushing down into your feet, lifting high. Squeeze deeply through your buttocks. So the more you close the back of the joint, the more the front opens. Roll down, round the floor. Last time, roll it up. Roll it all the way down. Drop your knees to the right. Turn your head to the left. Roll the left. Drop your knees to the left. Turn your head to the right. Squeeze both knees up onto your chest, rock from side to side. Check in with the sensations of your spine, your shoulders, your buttocks, your knees, your hands, temperature here, texture here. The goal of my yoga isn't that we create shapes on the outside, it's that we create an experience on the inside. We have a sense of how am I today? How is my spine today? How does it grow? How rigid can I be in the end of my range of motion? It's like how fluid and yummy can I be in the full range of my body? In the full range of my shoulder, the full range of my spine. It's both feet to the floor, either it's resting there with feet flat on the floor, or you can drop your knees wide and bring the soles of your feet together. You can stretch your legs out long if you wish. Set the weight of the back of your body settle. As you let the weight of the back of the body settle, maybe just make sure that your chin is tucked in. There's length in the back of your neck, your hands are resting somewhere comfortable. Let the breath be really soothing into your body. Thanks, like slight smile on your face. It's this amazing thing, the nagel tone, the connection is through our social nervous system. So when we have the slight smile on your face, it feeds information down into our chest, into our heart, into our lungs, into the diaphragm, and everything in the gut above the navel. And it just feeds in, oh, oh I'm okay. And then the appearance of your chest reflects up into your face. It's like they begin to mirror each other. Thanks, Thanks, guys. It's kind of wonderful. So I shall see you again tomorrow. So either draw your knees up or roll your knees up or do whatever you need to do. Maybe you want to stay there for a little while. Maybe you want to leave up and you can be there. Spend it and see or something like that. Um, who knows? I don't know many of you do still proceed to do that. Maybe it's a experiment. So um, I will see you all again tomorrow, day 21. Um, and um, great. Thanks, guys.